So we're now in Coburn Court. This is the central courtyard area in the school and we're just going to take a look around and see what's here. Okay. So this is the lower school block on one side of Coburn Court and we've talked about the lower school block in another video and here is the sixth form centre. You won't have many lessons in the sixth form centre but there is the library in there which is somewhere that you will certainly go in your English lessons and hopefully you'll go to the key stage three learning zone in there at lunch times. Over here are the PE facilities, the sports hall and the gym. This is the Millennium Corridor which leads out to the front of the school. Then above up here this is the theatre, you won't go in from this way. At the bottom there there's LT1 and we now can see the covered lunch area. This was installed recently, you can see the padded poles in house covers and you can sit here at break time or lunch time to eat to either get some shade from the sun like today or some shelter from the rain if you want to eat outside. And over here we can see there are four table tennis tables in Coburn Court as well as the lockers also in house colours. Now normally at break time these would be packed with year sevens and other year groups noisily shouting and playing table tennis but today we've got Alex and Jason hello, and that's hello and that's a good moment to interrupt you. Um, so this is Jaden, this is Alex um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about break time. So what kinds of things do we do at break time? Uh, we get some food. Food? Ah right yes so very important. So if you want to get food you can get food at break time or lunch time and where do we do that? Where do we get food from? Uh, we get food in the canteen. The canteen which is just over here. Just so however Jaden, if Jaden wanted to go to the canteen, Jaden's in Key Stage 4, he would be able to go through this door over there, which is the Key Stage 4 entrance. So Jaden, why don't you go and wait over there? Alex, however, is in okay. Key Stage 3. Can you show us where the Key Stage 3 entrance is? So we'll come round the side of the lower school block. Um, these racks um, that you used to put your bags, um, don't put your bags like on the floor. Uh, that's very good advice because it's a trip hazard. Yeah. Are you allowed to take your bags into the canteen? No, you're not. So you have to leave your bags on one of the racks out here. And it's really important you don't leave your bag in a place that you're not supposed to leave it because you might then find that someone has moved it and then at the end of lunchtime you can't find it and you won't have your books for the lesson. So yeah, Alex. So if you, if you leave your bags on there, the will probably just chuck it up the top. Fair enough. Okay, so Alex, you've brought us round the other side of the canteen. Yeah. What would you do if it was a normal break time and you wanted to go and get some food from so the canteen? Normal break time, come up here. Okay. Go down, just come through here and round. And you queue up and you wait here and you don't you don't go into the you don't go into the box, do you? Until you're told to. No. Brilliant. Right, so and then when you're told to, you go in through the main entrance to the cafeteria. Unfortunately, it's locked. it's locked today. So just this once, I won't give you a negative. You can go through the no entry sign just for today. Don't go through here because you'll get negatives. It's hand sanitizer. Make sure you use it on leaving and entering the canteen. So you've come into the canteen. Where would you go now, Alex? So I would go round here. Go around here. Um, um, some teachers sometimes tell you to stop because the year 11s are going in. But okay, well, as Jay, I'll let Jaden in. I'll let the key stage. Well, you go first. Thank you, sir. Then there's no one there now, so I can go. And you go around here. Make sure you keep your two metres apart, boys. And we have to stop here. Right, stop there, Jaden. You've missed, you've, missed your, you've missed your yellow line, Alex. Until the teacher says that we can go. Okay, right, well, there's no one else there, so you guys can go. So, the prices are on top, so if you want a like, fruit pot, it's £1.50. So, like, there's only drinks, there's, like, fruit, there's, there's sandwiches all down the bottom here. Oh, and we keep the menu for the the menu for the week is here, but you can also find it on the website. Yeah, so there's normally hot food, all up here, so and down here, those two things are filled with drinks. Uh, I think there's like more fruit, and there's a salad bar here. So, what do you do once you've got your food? So, once you've got your food, you either queue up here, 
Jane is. At one of the tills, yeah. okay. So and then do you, you give the money? No, so you put your thumb on this centre and your name will come up and um, the, they'll put whatever you've got in. So you have a BLT, you get, it's £1.95, so they'll put the BLT in and then if that's all you've got, then they'll press enter and you'll be charged £1.95 for the BLT. Okay, and that will come out of your school account yeah. and your parents have to top that up. Yeah. If your parents forget to top it up, you can go over a little bit. We won't let anyone go hungry, but it's important then that your parents go online on something called Parent Pay and top up your account to make sure you've got credit. So it's as easy and as quick as that. Okay, yeah. thanks. Thanks very much, Alex, for your uh, input. Thank you very much, Jaden. If any of you watching have any questions, um, we're going to make a section on, this, on the website which, which you can submit a question and we'll try and answer it either um, in a message or in a video that we do later on. Okay, thanks very much for watching.